Hello, I am Deepti and I welcome you to the 6th episode of Talk Physics. Remember, in my earlier episodes, I had asked you two questions. First, I had asked you whether you like physics and when you answered no, I had asked you whether you like music. And the answer was, of course, as expected, a big yes. After which I had told you that if you like music, you indirectly like physics. And then, of course, we have been trying to discover physics hidden in music. Now, the same thing is true for dance as well. I know that if I ask you whether you like dance, there's going to be a big yes from your side. So even if you feel that you like dance but you don't like physics, let me tell you that if you like dance, if you love dance, you indirectly love physics. Why? Because just like music, there is a lot of physics hidden in dance as well. There's a branch of physics known as mechanics and Many terms in mechanics that one learns are actually practiced in dance. The first and the foremost thing would be the concept of gravity. The fact that when you jump, you are able to come back to the earth is due to the force of gravity exerted by the earth. So if there was no gravity, you wouldn't be able to dance at all. You would be floating somewhere in the space. Apart from gravity, there are so many other concepts like center of mass, moment of inertia, torque, angular momentum. In fact, when we teach angular momentum in class, we always give an example of a dancer. So let us try to explore this further in some upcoming episodes. Till then, take care and bye.